欢迎收睇美国专讯。曲棍球唔单止可以喺冰上同埋球场上打，佢哋仲可以喺水下比赛。咁喺二十世纪五十年代首次喺美国出现嘅水下曲棍球咧，而家又再度出现啦。咁下边嘅记者莫斯科卡科夫嘅报道，佢系曲棍球、水球以及自由潜水嘅完美结合。Truly a team sport because it, it doesn't matter how good one player is, he's eventually going to have to come up for air. So there has to be teamwork, there has to be passing. You can't just have one guy doing everything. 规则好简单，两支球队，每支球队六名队员，以及系四名嘅替补队员，每位选手都配有潜水器、护目镜、帽、脚扑，以及系一根三十厘米长嘅塑料棍。就好似冰球比赛一样，球员要争到系控球权，然后将球打到对方嘅球门里边。呢、这个球系由圆造成，外面包住系橡胶，重一点五公斤，咁样佢就唔会弹跳，而系能够确保流响池底里边。首都华盛顿附近嘅乔治梅森大学系将水下曲棍球列为系校园运动嘅九间大学之一。I'm on the U.S. men's elite team,、uh, so we travel around the world competing at the world-level competition. And as I get ready for Worlds, I'll spend anywhere from 10 to 20 hours a week training for about a year. My favorite thing about the sport is the people.、Um, you know, I feel like every place I go, you know,、uh, I have a little bit of family because we have teams、uh, all over the United States. 大多数嘅水下曲棍球队都系男女混合队。There's a 3D aspect to it that you don't get in a, the other court sports because in basketball and soccer you can only run on the court. In hockey you can be on the bottom of the pool, but you can also be on the surface. And so there's that added dimension to where you need to position yourself in the play. 球员之间无法进行口头嘅交流，除咗需要闭住呼吸，水下曲棍球比普通曲棍球嘅危险性要少，因为佢有水嘅缓冲作用。但系就好似其他嘅运动一样，对抗亦都会发生，通常系用脚扑。It's a non-contact sport in the sense that basketball is non-contact, so you can't you can't grab somebody, but you can still, if your stick is on the puck, create body contact to create space. 记者莫斯卡科夫维吉尼亚州报道，据美国农业部话，蜜蜂嘅数量不断下降，咁部分原因系受到杀虫剂嘅影响，但系同时亦包括害虫嘅影响。咁研究人员正在同电脑科技公司甲骨文合作，点样去增强监测蜂巢嘅健康状况？咁下边嘅记者易海文嘅报道。伦敦养蜂人约翰大维正在进行一项独特嘅实验，从世界各地嘅蜜蜂嗰度收集信息。We have two cables, two wires. One is connected to a probe which is reading the humidity inside the hive. One is to read the temperature inside the hive. These things are all critical throughout the season. 其他探测器监测蜂巢嘅声音，并将所有信息发送到一个由科技公司甲骨文设计嘅巨型云计算系统中。该公司正在与马里克负责嘅英国非营利组织世界蜜蜂计划合作，以确保呢啲昆虫继续授粉。And this is the link we、uh, very often most of us forget to make. So bees are not Don't exist merely to make honey. Bees pollinate, and without pollination,、uh, we cannot produce food. It's as simple as that. 传感器收集嘅所有信息将被人工智能分析，以了解如何识别蜂巢嘅健康状况。约翰阿伯喺甲骨文公司工作。We can load in mapping data, road data, pollution data. They Industrial park where our hives are. We can see the relationship to a, a railway, to a river. All of this gives an indication of the hives' ability to be sufficient and healthy in the context of an area. 但系一个蜂巢嘅数据无法提供足够嘅分析信息。甲骨文公司希望创建一个巨大嘅插入式蜂巢网络，咁样系统就可以对佢哋进行比较。從而了解更多嘅有關蜂巢健康嘅知識。Because we're using an open connection, anybody to connect and pass us data. And as more and more devices come connected, we get more streams of data. We need billions of rows. 
to make the model self-sufficient. 通過自給自足，阿伯設上咗一種系統，當蜂巢出現問題嘅時候，就能夠向養蜂人發出警告，並為研究人員提供數據，以確定蜂巢可以健康茁壯成長嘅地點。They could take the data that we've got and understand how they can build a biodiversity ecosystem that allows better pollination. To mean that they create more food for their own country or their own neighbourhood, or even for the world. Abak 仲話，蜜蜂監測器價格低廉，可以令嗰啲想將蜂巢同系統連接起嚟嘅養蜂人行動起嚟。記者易海文報導。多謝收睇美國專訊，我任敬陽。下次嘅節目時間再見。